welcome to this Tech and Trains channel video. Recently I have been coding, I uh, basically coded a more user friendly version of the Raspberry Pi signal and control system which I showed you in the previous video. Now I've coded it with Windows instead of using the old text based system, it's a lot e easier to use, I haven't got any extra signals or point motors wired up to the system yet. They are implemented in the code though, so I will show you them and how they work. So we'll just run this Python program. So it comes up with a box at the start and that says server IP address and the local IP of the server is 192 and I'll just put you on the stand. So first of all it comes up with server IP address. The IP address of the server is 192.168.0.71. Alright, so now we have the main display up so we can see it says it's connected to the Raspberry Pi. This is on a socket port instead of over email, so it'll work a lot quicker. And the IP of the local the local IP of the Raspberry Pi is 192.168.0.71 can see across the top we've got all the signals and the ones with boxes are the ones that wired up that's just except for the point mode because I'm just about to wire that one up right so as we can see all the signals are set to red and all the point motors are set to left so if we want to change the point motor we just hit the button just sort of you around over here, so you hit the button, and instantly it changes. Then you hit, goes to right, and then you hit the button again, and it goes back to left. So it's basically like that, and we can just do it with dummy point motor 2. So it's just showing about being wired up to anything. And that's the Raspberry Pi complaining it's running to an error. So hopefully it should still be working. Oh, it seems like we crashed the Raspberry Pi. Right, so I'll just go and reset it and then we should be up in about another minute. Right, so it seems like just sent me an email saying these are the errors. So we just go and turn the Raspberry Pi back on and we'll see what happens. Raspberry Pi has just sent me an email saying it's up and running it again. So I can just rerun the program. And it's oops. Now nah, it's getting a lot of an error. Put wrong. I put the wrong IP in. Um, let's do it again. Right, so it's one nine two. Right, I'll just pause. All right, so we got it back open again. Sorry for the delay in getting this open. So as we can see, the signal one is a two aspect signal. So I can hit it, and it will change to green. You can hear the relay changing in the background. It again will change to red. Signal 4 works in the basically the same way, except this is a free aspect signal this time. Go red, changes to yellow, and changes to green, and then change back to red. Go and put it on the signal, and you can see that working. So you can go, so it's on red at the moment, click the button, and it should go to yellow. Click the button again, it goes to green, click the button again, and it goes back to red. Do the same thing with the signal over here. So we can go. So it's on red at the moment. We can just click it, and it should change to green. We can click again, and it changes back to red. So this is almost instantaneous. So this application is better because it's communicating over a socket board instead of over email, which means it doesn't have that 10 second delay between you pressing it and on the computer and it physically changing in real life enjoyed watching this video please comment like and subscribe and thank you for watching